the gas station. This is where I am right here. These are where all the surges are. So I got down the street of 725. I would like to go downtown. They got a lot of surge out to the west. A lot of good surge out to the west, but that'll be dried up before I get out there. A little bit of surge to the south of me. Nah, I don't think so. I mean, I'm thinking about going down into the Gilbert area tonight because I bet they're going to be jumping and popping, but they like to push you from Gilbert all the way down here where it says Barrington. That's a far drive, but they like to try that to me all the time. I never fall for it. So looks like, I don't know, looks like downtown might be right. Let me turn on lift real quick. I got it on Paw Patrol right now. So they're not, they're not going to send me a ride yet. Let's see. What do I got on this side of the, the, the equator? Let's see what I got over here. All right, come on, Lyft. All right, looks like I'm sitting in a little bit of surge right now. I got some 325 down the street. Uh, what else? That's about it. That's about it. I don't think they got me sitting in surge right now. Let me go online. If they don't give me surge, I won't take it right. Okay, I got $3 bonus. Happy three years. Congrats to me for three years. Yeah, whatever, motherfucker. You ripping me off. That's about it. All right, let's see what I got. Let's see what they give me. I got a $3 surge right now. 21 miles yeah like 23 24 miles almost for 18 dollars yeah we're not doing nature hikes right off the bat nope nope all right we got a 425 dropping just to the south of us so let's see what i got i'm gonna start heading to the east a little bit see if i can go get some money out there right now yeah let me turn out of this parking lot here because i'm definitely not going to the west Twelve dollars for ten miles. Mm, nah, it's not good enough. I don't like that. Especially with a three dollar surge, that's not good. I can do something shorter than that. All right, what do we got? What do we got? All right, so I got out of there. Hopefully, they give me something like about you know six miles for like twelve bucks, something like that. Give me something short, you know, two dollars a mile. I'll take it right off the bat to get my night started. But otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Let's see what Uber's talking about on this side of the equator over here. I just hit like, man, I could have swore I already hit like, uh, I paid. So I just left this motherfucker a second ago. I got 44 bucks in the mix. All right. There, we already did that. So looks like they probably should. Let me see, claimed offers none, whatever. So I already did that already. All right, let's get out of here. What's Uber got going? Um, nothing a lot, not a lot. Let me go get it put on UberX and see, because if I go on UberX, we'll see if Lyft gives me something right now. Maybe UberX and, and Lyft are using the same servers and shit now, because every time I go on Uber, Lyft starts trying to send me rides. They won't send me shit till they see me on an Uber. Now, $20 for, no, no, hell no. $20 for like 23 miles, nope. We're not going down there. Nope, we're not going down there. $10 for six miles. Nope, not doing that. What's Liv got on their side? Nope, $13 for 12 miles. Nope, two rides I don't like. And that was an UberX share anyway, so definitely not doing that. We're not starting off our night because you start taking UberX shares off the bat, they're going to start sending you those motherfuckers all night long. Trust me, I did that before and I was getting like three, four UberX shares a night. Sometimes I don't take them, I never get them. I like that one. 1028 for that, I'll take that. All right. That's about five miles right there. I could deal with that. So let's go down here and do that ride. Angelica from the Rugrats, like a motherfucker. That's Angelica from the Rugrats. I'm gonna go pick up Angelica real quick. <laughs> Chucky, motherfucking Chucky. Look at that ass, motherfucker. Let's go pick up Angelica. About to listen to me some music in a minute. Got this night started with a two dollar a mile ride. Let's see if we can keep that shit up. Because if I could do a hundred miles, which is a quarter tank, I can mess around and make two hundred bucks in a hundred miles. Let's try to do it. Did two real short, quick, uh, quick short trips. Let me see. Going here, that one was like two point eight miles. Really, it was about three point eight because I was like a mile away from the pickup. And this one down here was two point four. That was about five miles total because it was about two point four to get to them. So each one was about two, three dollars a mile. So it ain't too bad already, not too bad. And both of them got those uh, boosts on them. Just let me go in here real quick. So that one's got a dollar surge plus a boost. Right now I'm sitting in the zone right now, no surge anywhere. So I gotta head over to Mesa a little bit, pick up some surge over there before I start my next ride. 
because I don't want to start a ride right now with no surge because that's what they tried to they try to send me shit I got it on Paw Patrol right now so I can go down the street pick up the 825 or go get the 850 I'm gonna go get the 825 850 looks closer but it's too close to the freeway for me I don't like that because once you get up there they're gonna start trying to send you to the reservation and I'm not trying to get on the reservation and start cutting through dirt and shit in my BMW right now it's like nah I just put these tires on here I don't want to get a nail in my damn tire driving through dirt <laughs> it's like nope be dirt and gravel and you be going through bumps you come out and all of a sudden you're on a fucking flat you're like what the hell driving on the reservation there's way too many fucking like little pitfalls on that shit like nah you cool man you cool so I'm gonna cruise down here and get this 825 hopefully uh pick up a ride on the way back like I said I got it on Uber Pet right now so I'm cruising like man this is how we do you know how we do man we throw that shit on Paw Patrol we start driving till we get somewhere if I turn my Uber X on I'm gonna start getting way too many requests right now and I don't feel like dealing with requests so I keep that shit on Uber Pet and that's for all the people that keep asking well why do you the statement I just said is why now you know why so I'm about to head over here let me go see what's on Uber, uh, Lyft real quick let's see something let me open this up. Let me see what they got out here. Maybe they got me in a surge on Lyft. So if they got me in a surge on Lyft, I could go grab some Lyft rides. Nope. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm in the bonus zone right now. Like six bucks. All right, so I got some surge over there and I got surge right here. So I'm gonna go up Country Club, grab a little bit, then turn on Lyft. I'm gonna grab my, my surge on Uber on Uber Pet. I'm gonna grab that, but I'm gonna turn on Lyft and try to drive on Lyft while I'm holding this surge right now. So if I can do that for a while, you know that'll that'll double up my surge. If I can get six bucks on one, eight on the other one, that's fourteen dollars of free money I got just for being in this area. So I have the fourteen dollars of free money, grab a couple of rides, and that adds to it. And that's what I make for this hour. Let's see. All right, still on Uber Pet. Hopefully I can make it up to Country Club and, and make this turn so I can get up there. They're going to keep trying to throw lights and shit in my way. I already know what the deal is. And plus, there's a light rail looking thing up here, too. Yeah. A little monorail system and shit. They're going to try to throw something at me and be like, yeah, you can't get it now, damn it. But I'm, of course, I'm going to try. They probably going to give me like $250 to start off with. $253. We'll see what they give me. What are they going to give me? Let's go up some. Yeah, three dollars for the first one. I should have turned right there. Dang it, should have turned. So I got the three dollars right now. Let me see if I can cruise up and get the eight twenty-five. So this is what Paw Patrol will do for you right here. You can just cruise around picking up surge wherever you want to go. That's what we do it for. Three seventy-five. All right, bet. Let's keep let's keep it growing and keep it going. Shit, that need to be a T-shirt. Keep it going and keep it growing. Surge. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah let's see all right man here we go again red light with a motherfucking monorail coming up red light with a damn light rail thing man i swear they, they know exactly where to put these old ragged ass fucking surges they always put this shit in the fucked up area instead of putting it on like where i was just cruising where it was easy to get to they put it where it's like okay you have to stop for them i know it motherfucking light rail sitting right here then i'm at a red light by the time that month all this shit changed that motherfucker will be gone they know exactly where to strategically place these they be like okay we know cars be stuck in this area for this long put a surge on that side so they can't get to it they could have put that shit right beneath me i could have make a right turn and get it but instead of being able to make a right turn and get it they got this shit sitting up here fucking people turn my blinker on that shit's loud okay now see look look at that shit Man, as soon as I start going, the light changed, I started driving, it fucking changed. Fucking changed to 525. Motherfuckers, boy, I swear they know exactly where to put this shit. They put it where it'll hold you for a while, it gives them some time. That's all they do is fucking, hey, put it up that way, because they got a couple of lights and they got a light rail, they have to stop. That gives us enough time to get their ass trapped over there. Oh, raggedy motherfuckers. That's a whole $3 I just lost right there, a whole fucking three bucks. Man, can't stand that shit. I swear, I'm going to start making a map to show where all the fucked up surge is. Like, these are all fucked up surge areas right here. Where they're going to put the shit on the opposite side of a red light. Like, right now, I'm coming up. It's a red light in front of me right now. So, I probably won't even make it. They're probably going to just remove this shit altogether. If it was 1 o'clock in the morning, I wouldn't even worry about these lights. But it's 10.30 and there's a lot of cars around. It's like, man, these motherfuckers, boy. 
And hopefully they don't get me up here and try to send me up to the reservation because I'm going to definitely decline that shit. Like, nope. So if you're in Mesa, on Country Club, Broadway, all those areas, don't pick up a surge over there. They're going to red light you to fucking death and monorail your ass to death and light rail your ass to death. You ain't getting shit up here. It's like, all right, where the fuck is my five bucks for my surge at? Where's my five bucks, you raggedy motherfuckers? 375. What? They ain't going to give it to me? Where is it supposed to be at? Oh, 525. All right, so now I got 525. Let's open up UberX. I was going to try to drive on it, but I'm going to try something else real quick. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to turn around and start heading back south because I don't want to be up here anyways because the reservation is like, whoops, I almost hit the fucking button. Definitely not doing that shit. Nope, definitely not doing that. That's way too fucking far. $8 for that with a 325 surge? No, how do I got a 325 surge and not a $5 surge? What happened? What happened to my surge, you rat? There it is, 525. With a 525? Nope. It's way too much. I got 525. Give me a motherfucking. Nope. I'm not doing none of these fucking trips because they're all garbage. All right, let me turn here real quick. Wait a minute. The next one. 525? All right. Let's see what they're going to give me because, like I said, I got 525 surge. I'm going to park across the street right here. And let them give me something because, like I said, they was trying to give me seven dollars for like nine mile trips and shit like that, and throw a five twenty five. Sir, nah, we not doing that. You gonna give me something real short, real short. Thirty dollars for that? What's that? Nah, cause that's way too far. We're not doing that. We ain't doing no thirty dollar trips right now. Nope. I'm looking for something like a ten dollar trip for like two three miles. That's it. Give me something worth dealing with. Twenty dollars for ten miles. Mm, nope, we're not doing that. I can do better than that. I can do better than that. Because that's going all the way back down there and all the way back down here. I could do better than that. Because that was only, what, $2 a mile? Not bad, but no. Definitely not doing that. $21 for 14 miles. They just gave me $20 for 10 miles. Now they gave me $21 for 14 miles. <laughs> it's like, nope. I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. I'll just sit here and relax for a second. See what y'all got going. What y'all got going on? Because I'm out of the boost zone. The boost zone is 450 down the street. So I can go back down there and add this 425 to that boost down there. $30 for like 21 miles? Nope. Yeah, 525. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it back on Uber Pet. And I'm going to go back over to this boost zone over here to get the $4.50 added to it. Because they ain't giving me shit over here anyways. It ain't nothing worth it over here. So I'm going to head back down. And pick up a boost. Because what time is it? 10.30? Yeah, I got some time. All right. So I'm going to cruise down here. Hit the boost zone. Pick up an extra 450. And that's only, it goes up until 11. Which ain't bad. It ain't bad. So let me go in here real quick. See what they got over here. Drop down. Pick up some of their surge if they got some left. Nope. Lift ain't got nothing good. Close those motherfuckers. Like I said, Lyft, if they don't got nothing good, just shut them. Because they're not even worth it right now. They shouldn't have pulled Lux away from my ass. Now that they took Lux away, guess what? Y'all motherfuckers got hell to pay. Hell to pay. All right, so I'm going to cruise over here, get this 450 added to that. So that'll make it 975 added to whatever trip I pick up. Which ain't bad. It's not bad at all. It ain't bad at all. Just cruising around, listening to some music. When I go get a trip down here, I'll get you back. I'm going to listen to me some music for a little bit. Okay, so I'm about to hit this bonus zone right here. I'm finally inside of the zone. So what I can do is go back. I can get it off of Uber Pet and go back and do Uber X Share and see what kind of rides I can get. Because I get 450 plus I get my 525 surge. So we can see what kind of rides they're going to try to send me right now. $21 for that. for that that can't be right picking up Brooke no nah. yeah, let me pull over I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back on Uber Pet for a second because they're fucking with me right now 
So I took it off of Uber X. I'm gonna put it on Uber Pet. Cause right now they're trying to do some, they're trying to get me to go up to Scottsdale and I'm not trying to go to Scottsdale right now. They keep trying to send me a reservation. So I'm gonna take a look at this reservation. So like I said, if you wanna keep uh, shit from flooding your phone, just turn it on Uber Pet for a while. That way you can look and see what's going on on shit. So 515 is that. 635 is $20 at 635 in the morning. All right, let's accept that one. I should be out. So that's about $40 in the morning. If I can get tips, I can make that 50, 60 in the morning. No problem. All right, I just wanted to see what that was. Now I can go back into what I was doing. Put it back on Uber X and see who's ready to ride. Like I said, I'm not trying to go to Scottsdale no matter what. I'm not going to Scottsdale. They're not getting me up there. Fuck that. $27 for 26 miles, and that's with $9.50 and stuff. And that was with $9.50 added. It was 26, 27 miles. Something like that. We could do that. I could do that. Let's go pick up Eric. Let's go back where I was. Pick up Eric, and then we head back. Cool, I could do that. Cause like I said, with the shit they was trying to do me, no, nah, I'm not doing all that. They got me fucked up. Cause I mean, there's ways to, to get better rides other than trying to go, you know, 26 miles for $26 or $27. And that's with 950 in surge and all that shit. It's like, no, nah, we're not doing that. No, nah, we're not doing that. You're going to give me the right amount of money for the trip I, I'm sitting on. Cause I got good bonuses and shit like that. So pay me some good money. Man, these fucking cars. car will fucking fly on their ass i don't play it's like if you don't get out my way i just punch it fucking yeah i can take all the time you want i can i can move this little fucking car i can go so it don't make a difference what they do in traffic because they're not going as quick as me anyways i'm getting from point a to point b fuck these slow motherfuckers man that's why you gotta have a car with a little punch to it because when they fucking around in traffic dicking around they're the ones creating accidents all the time you gotta move you gotta get this shit out the way get away from me get your car away from me i gotta fucking go and if you ain't ready to go, I'm punching it. I'm out of here. Stay the fuck away from me. Still doing short hops around ASU. I mean, that was the last one I just did right there. It was, what, 3.4 miles, 940, because they gave me the 450 boost on there. But before that one, I had my surge and my boost on an 1884 for that 4.5 miles. Easy, easy. I love little short hops like that. You know, not even five miles, $18. That's how we do it, you know. And then, they, of course, they dropped me right in the middle of two surges. So I'm thinking I'm going to head up to this one where it says Peterson Park. I want to head up there and do that one. So I'm going to cruise down baseline, head up Priest, and pick that surge up right there. Because I'm not, like I told these motherfuckers, if it ain't no surge, we ain't driving. Because they, they're trying to cheapskate us out of a lifestyle. And it's like, you want to try to cheapskate us out of a lifestyle, bringing in people who you can, like, play because they don't know the American system and shit. No, we know the financial system. You're not fucking all of us over. We gonna go get this money. That's the first thing we gonna do. We gonna get up in the morning. And we know our worth in this community. We are the drivers doing the services. We getting this money. Cause if you ain't paying it, we ain't doing it. Decline that shit, keep it moving. Cancel that shit, keep it moving. You paying us. Cause all these motherfuckers sitting at their laptops thinking, oh, we just gonna create a code to help us get rich. Fuck the code. We got cars out here. We paying for these fucking cars out here. So if we ain't making money to pay for these cars, we ain't driving nobody to fuck around. Cause ain't nobody tipping and shit like that. Look at it. Let me show you all my trips tonight. 940, no tip. 1884, no tip. Cancel that. 937, no tip. 1028, no tip. The 1076, no tip. That was a tip right there on the 47 last night. And all this shit. Look at that. No tip. The cancel. Of course, this one, $3 tip. That one, $3 tip. No tip. Next one, no tip. It's too many trips with no tips. So we can't rely on tips to get us to the next level. So the company got to pay money. If the company ain't paying money, we're not driving. We ain't going to be begging these customers for tips. We're not doing that. If you ain't paying, these motherfucking cars ain't moving. That's just how it got to go. And if you want us to move these cars, pay up a little bit. You got money, pay up a little bit. You got record fucking profits. You went from $114 million loss down to a $12 million loss. Where did $102 million come from? Pay the fuck up. You got all this fucking money and these drivers is going broke right now. We going fucking, we getting evicted out of spots and shit, losing our cars and shit. Fucking not being able to buy groceries. You know, I ain't been grocery shopping in over a fucking week. I thought about that shit today. Usually I go grocery shopping. I haven't been to the grocery store in over a week. It's been almost two weeks since I've been grocery shopping. I've been eating motherfucking rice and Salisbury steaks, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, eat some frozen fucking pizzas. I had some frozen white castles in the thing. I had some sausage. I bought two things of sausage so I didn't have to go. Sausage and eggs and shit. 
And I'm thinking, why don't I have no food? Because I ain't been to the fucking grocery store yet. I'm tired of going to the grocery store because I'm sick of every time I walk in that motherfucker, I'm $119 out. Every time I walk out that bitch, $89. And I ain't even buying shit. $89. $119. What the fuck am I buying? A couple of dog treats? Some motherfucking food? And I'm going broke. So y'all got money to help us live life that we need to live. Drivers shouldn't have to be going a week or two weeks without... Because like I said, I tell motherfuckers, I live very frugally. You have to live like the money you do have is for the expense of the business. This is business expense money. It ain't me tricking off fucking money. I'm not going to go club it, kicking it, party, none of that shit. I'm not doing that because I'm not finna trick off this money, have my motherfucking engine blow up, and then I'll be ass out renting a car from Hertz. I ain't doing that shit, no. So any money I do have... It's not enough to cover all the shit that I got to pay for. I'm not rich. I don't have money like that. So now I'm out here just trying to fucking come up. You know, we trying to make money, trying to get shit done. We're going to get it done eventually. Sure we will. Oh, where we at? All right, let me turn right here down, Daryl, see if I can pick up some of this surge this way. We're going to try to get our money back and shit like that. Of course we will. But I need to be able to, to trust that I can make 1000 a week, 2000 a week, 1500 a week. And now I can't trust that, especially with Lyft. Lyft is fucking garbage. I can't even buy fucking groceries with the fucking money I make on Lyft. I can't even buy groceries. That's a dead fucking app on my phone. I can't even buy groceries with those raggedy motherfuckers. So why the fuck am I driving all these people, taking care of this community, getting everybody everywhere, and I can't even buy fucking groceries with that shit? That pays my goddamn car insurance and probably my motherfucking, you know, part of my car note. That's it. I can't even live off a fucking lift. I don't make a living off a lift. It's barely paying any fucking thing. So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not driving lift. I'm not driving lift. If lift wants me to drive for him, pay up a little bit. Pay up. I'm not going to get that money right there because that's on the highway. So right now, Uber's barely fucking covering shit too. But if I don't make a certain dollar amount, I don't go dig myself in a hole by buying more shit. I don't go find, you know, more money to buy more groceries and keep digging in my savings. Too many Americans right now are living on savings right now. I'm trying not to live on savings. I'm trying to live on earnings right now. If I start digging into savings, I'm hustling backwards. That means I'm not doing something that can that take care of my life. I'm not making enough money to take care of my life. I'm hustling backwards. Ooh, I got $5. All right, bet. I'm going to go sit my ass over here and, ooh, here's a quick trip or a Circle K right here. I'm going to sit at Circle K and get it. Yeah, but we can't be out here hustling fucking backwards, man. We cannot be hustling backwards. If I'm not making enough money, not earning enough fucking money, then it's probably something I shouldn't be doing. And if Lyft is not paying money, Uber ain't paying fucking money, I'm not picking no people up. I'm just not picking people up. I'll park this motherfucker and wait till the ride start. Let me go back on UberX. I'll wait until the money starts coming up. Now I'm on UberX. And when the money starts, now I can go get some groceries. Now I can put gas in this fucking car, buy a set of fucking tires or something like that. I'll take that, 1131, for about four miles almost. Let's go pick up Nick. Damn, I just parked and took off. But that's what we do, you know what I'm saying? We got to make sure we make enough money to take care of ourselves. I mean, these motherfuckers, you know, pocketing all the tips we get, stealing all the tips, doing all the shit with the tips. We can't live like that. We can't make a living off of that. So I'm not going to be one of those people riding around pretending on fucking YouTube that I'm balling out of fucking control and I'm and I'm got to dip in my savings just to fucking go grocery shopping. I should be out here working, making enough money to go grocery shopping. I should be driving every fucking day, making 150, 200, 300 every day. I know $35 a day, $65 a day. I can't grocery shop off that shit. It costs me probably 20 bucks in gas a day. So if I get 20 bucks in gas, I'm going to be making about, you know, $120. Anywhere from 120 to at least like, you know, 200 Just so I can have enough money to say, okay, I'm covering the car. I'm covering my life. I can go get some groceries. Go get some dog food. You know, send my son some money so he can have lunch money, you know, when he go out with his friends at the movies and shit. Because we don't need to live like we in fucking poverty. We're business owners. We don't have to live like we in poverty. If we're living like we in poverty as business owners, riding around in these cars and shit, that's slave labor. They getting slave labor. They getting cheap ass labor on our back. And it shouldn't be like that. If they getting cheap labor on our back, we ain't starting these fucking engines up. Nope. Like when the money comes, then we'll start the engine. If the money ain't coming, now nah, fuck that car, stay parked in the driveway. Put some surge out on the street. Get people to fucking tip. Something, figure it out. But you can't be making $102 million more on something. You ain't changed nothing in your business plan to make $102 million more to bring you from a $114 million loss to a $12 million loss. Where is that fucking money coming from? 
It's coming from our tips. It's coming from not giving us fucking actual payments out of these fares and shit they charging. We ain't fucking stupid. Money don't come out of fucking thin air. A hundred million dollars don't just pop up out of thin air. Where's that money coming from? It's coming from us out here busting our motherfucking ass, driving these cars, and not getting that money put in our pocket. That's where it's fucking coming from. All right, that was my last trip right there, 1181. I mean, like I said, I was sitting. There, I was just pulling into the quick trip to try to sit there, 1.2 miles. So it was about two miles almost for what, 1181? Almost two, three miles for 1181. Not bad, not bad. Close. I'll say it was closer to over a little over three miles for that. So not too bad. Still ain't got no tips coming through the system. It's cool. I don't know how much I made for the day. I don't even want to know. I don't. Even, I never look at how much I made for the day until I'm ready to end my day. Because I hate to look at it. It throws me off. Like I said, it's like counting your money at the damn craps table. And all of a sudden, it knocks you off your grind. I got Uber Pet on right now. Because as soon as I picked him up, it tried to send me a $3 ride for like four miles. I turned that shit off. I put that shit on Uber Pet so fast. I'm like, nope. So right now, I'm on Uber Pet cruising right now. I still haven't opened Lyft yet because, you know, Lyft, they be on some other shit anyways. Let me open them real quick. I haven't made a dime on Lyft because I just, I don't know. Lyft is just, I'm not feeling those motherfuckers, man. I'm not feeling the shit they pulling with drivers. So I don't even want to help their ass out. I mean, they got a little surge over there. Let's see what they're going to, let's go online real quick. What's the bonus for them? What's the bonus for them? $3? Yep, $3. All right, let's see what kind of rides they're talking about for $3. I'm going to end up going up here and making a right anyways so I can see if I can get closer to that. Nature hike, right off the fucking bat, nature hike. Fucking 24 miles for $21. That's why I don't fuck with Lyft. As soon as you turn that shit on, nature hike. Nope, nope. Lyft can't get nobody to do these rides for them because they're not paying nobody shit. So if you're not paying nobody shit, ain't nobody doing them rides. It's bumping up in Scottsdale, but the problem about Scottsdale, they don't got the infrastructure. You're going to be sitting trying to find your people and people are drunk and they came from out of town and they said, oh, we heard Scottsdale is fun. And they standing next to a bar trying to get a ride, but you have to go to the ride chair area. But when you go to Scottsdale, they don't tell people up there. Look at that. Go to the airport and pick up somebody for eight miles. Man, look at that. 1118 for almost 13 miles. That's what, yeah, let me turn Liv off. I'm, I'm done with them already. I hate fucking trash. It's like, I hate seeing fucking trash, man. It's, and that's the kind of shit they own. Like, I don't even look at they surge because it's not even, they surge don't make no sense. They giving everybody bonuses and shit like that, but yet they're not even paying you a dollar a mile for the shit they doing. You have a bonus and you still can't get to a dollar a mile. Fuck them, they're trash. They're trash. I don't even turn their ass on. Jeff, Lyft got a $10 surge. Yeah, because they're going to give you 40 mile rides for fucking $30 with a $10 surge. Fuck them. I'm not worried about they surge. They're trash. They're fucking trash. Oh man, Lyft right now got is surging like crazy. They got five, six dollar surges everywhere you go. Yeah, you have a six dollar surge, and they don't give you a fucking thirteen mile ride for fucking twelve dollars. Fuck them. It's like no, I don't do Lyft. Lyft is garbage. When they took Lux off the platform, they fucked up big time. And that's why I'm saying I don't see how they're making as much money as they claim they do. I think they're lying and bullshitting to get investors to hurry up and fucking give them an influx of cash. Like oh shit, they making that much money? Let's get a part of it. Holy shit, they went from a $114 million loss to a $12 million loss. Let's get a part of that money. Because the next time they do it, it's going to turn a game. Because if you jump $102 million from quarter two to current, that's one quarter and you made $100 million, they're thinking you're going in the right direction. Let's invest. They're going to make more money. They're going to probably make another $100 million, which is going to mean a profit from $12 million all the way around to about $88 million. So you should have a $12 million loss to an $88 million gain if you continue on the same trajectory you're going on now. $88 million gain means dividends. It means all the people are getting money back for their shares. It means you're turning a profit. You're doing very well. And your shares go through the fucking roof and everybody can save money when they sell. So you have to sell a bullshit story to get people to invest. When you sell the bullshit story, get everybody to invest, the investment cash is what you now use as capital now. Now you use that as capital. Guess what's going to happen? They're going to go from, a, I guarantee they went from $114 million loss in quarter two, $12 million loss right now. The next loss they have is going to be an ungodly amount because of what happened with Lux and shit. They're going to be like, we don't know what the fuck happened, but we went from a 12 million loss to a $190 million fucking loss. We don't know what happened. And everybody who invested is going to be like, I just put my money into those raggedy motherfuckers. I just bought all that stock thing that was going to go positive all of a sudden. It's a bullshit story they're trying to sell people. That's what I think. Because ain't nobody driving Lyft. Lyft is full of shit. Y'all see these fucking fares and shit they showing? Ain't no drivers taking this shit. Everybody's on UberX right now. People who are on Lyft right now ain't making shit. They not making shit. 
Oh man, I'm making a lot of money on Lyft. How many hours you work? 12, exactly. You gotta do 12 hours a day of, of bullshit rides. I'm not trying to work 12 hours a day. I wanna work six to eight. I wanna be a normal person with a normal fucking job. I don't wanna be working double time just to make what normal time people make. If I can do this shit in eight hours, five hours, eight hours, I'm good. Ain't no fucking way I should be out here for 12 fucking hours just to make like 300 bucks. 12 hours, nah, fuck that. Okay, somebody was just talking about how Uber Eats shouldn't pop up. These are Uber Eats requests popping up in my phone right now. As you see, it says turned off. I don't even have Uber Eats on right now, but I get Uber Eats requests all the time. I'll take that ride right there. Let's do that one, five bucks. Let's go, let's go. But that was how my trip radar looks. What the fuck modified trip? No, fuck that shit. I don't know what the fuck that modification was, but we're not doing it. Yeah, we're gonna accept about that by accident. Yeah, I don't do I don't do fucking modification. Sorry, Vanessa, whoever you were. My bad. I don't play that shit. You modify a trip? Nope, fuck that. Put all that shit ahead of time. Cause I ain't gonna be sitting nowhere. Look at that. Twenty-three dollars for that. They track like a motherfucker. Yeah, like I said, I don't mess with that shit. Was that I'll do that one right there. All right, let's see what we got. So I'm gonna cruise and pick up Kelly now. Let's do this real quick. Like I said, I don't I do not do modifications. When people do a mod, I hurry up and end the trip real quick. If somebody's doing a modification and you don't wanna take that trip, you might be better off doing that. What the hell's going on over here? I think that car just broke down. I don't know, whatever the case may be. Yeah, but I don't do trip mods. Like, nope. I'll, I'll cancel that shit and do something else. I'm not doing that. Almost midnight, so it's about time for my break to go pick up me some crusty dusties or some shit. I gotta go grab me something to eat, but that was my last trip right there, 986. And then the one right before that, that short one out, he gave me a $3 tip. So that's my first tip of the night, three bucks. I love it. $3 goes a long way, trust me. Because like I said, they add, if I can get 10 $3 trips a week, 10 a week, that's 30 bucks a week. That's a half a tank of gas, and I can use that 30 bucks to make more money on. So I like these little tips and these little money here, and I tell people, be okay. Be okay with $3, $4. Be okay with that when it's short trips like that, because that shit adds up after a while, because you're not really driving nowhere. So when you get a $3 tip, you get a $4 tip, that shit is magnified, because when you look at it in, in per capita of what it is per mile and everything, a $3 tip on a one-mile trip is like, you know, three to one. So that means that's like taking a 10 mile trip and getting a $30 trip, getting a $30 tip. So that's how you gotta look at it and say, damn man, if I take a 10 mile trip and somebody give me 30 bucks, that's the equivalent of getting $3 tips on these little mile ride, two mile rides and shit like that. Somebody's giving you a $30 tip, but it's taking more people to give you that $30 tip. That's all it is. So be okay with that, be okay with it. And that's why that should be making me happy because it shows that people appreciating what we're doing. And that energy, I can turn around and get that energy back. That's why when I had my car wreck, I couldn't, I couldn't drive because that is all about energy. Shit like that happens, I cannot drive if I'm not in the right mind. I just can't do it. I gotta go home. I gotta recharge. I gotta get back into that different mode of energy because we're trying to give people good rides and give them like you know a, a memorable experience. I don't even want to look and see how much I made because it's too early right now. I don't want to be pissed off. <laughs> be like is that all i fucking made i know a lot of people say dude count your money nope not yet not yet it's not time yet i'm still at the craps table right now i'm still at the craps table i got uber pet on there's nothing in the area that i got because as you can see let me see see i still got uber pet running it's not busy right now so i'm gonna go offline for a second just to relax for a minute because i'm gonna go up here to a uh, quick trip i'm gonna give me a couple of crusty dusties and shit and kick back for a second you know I've been driving long enough. I got to get out this car for a minute and walk around a little bit. So I'll hit y'all back up. I'm listening to me some more music. I've been listening to Devastated by Joey Badass. Devastated? Shit. I'm still sitting here kicking back. Just got through eating some cookies because these motherfuckers at Quick Trip ran out of Krusty Dusties. There's not a single donut in this whole fucking store. So I had to settle for a package of cookies. I don't mind. I like cookies. These were the M&M cookies. They ain't even real chocolate chip. Those like M&M cookies. I'm like, whatever, man. I feel like a fucking six-year-old kid eating them goddamn cookies. But I went in there to go get me some crusty Dusties and they ain't have none, so I had to settle for something. But I'm looking at my uh, map now. You see a surge everywhere except where I am, of course. There's even surge. Like, this is where I was earlier, where it was $16. All it, This is where I was earlier. All this shit. Now it's surging like crazy up and down there. I'm thinking about going back over there and just spending the night up there. But they got surge way out here too. Look at that, $22, 14, 
there's surge all over the map in areas far as hell low. And like I said, it would be okay, but I'm way too far. I'm way over here, man. I'm not driving all the way over there just for a $22 surge. I mean, I don't mind going to, to get the 16 right here because I'm probably about four or five miles from the $16. I'm about four or five miles from that. Well, maybe further than that. Because what I can do is go up, hit this 202 right here, hit the loop 202 up on Priest, and I can shoot down a 202 and pick it up right over here, over here on the Alma School. It will probably only take me, I would say, about, mm, I would say not even 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes I could get that $16. Because it's all highway, basically. And I'll probably be on the highway for maybe, it would take me longer to get to the highway and get off the highway than it would be on it. Because once I hit the highway, shit, I get 85 miles an hour to get over there, get that $16. It won't take me like, you know, five, six minutes to get there. But if that shit disappears and I just did all that riding for nothing, then like Tempe is probably going to open up pretty soon to have kids and everything over here in this little party district. It's probably going to open up. So I'm not 100% sure I want to go over there, but there, there's not a lot. There's not a lot. I mean, we got surge over in this area going that way. That's way out past by where Juan Vargas stays, way out there. And this is where I'm in relation to that. I'm way over here, and that's way over there. So the closest thing I got as far as surge is right here in Mesa. So I might have to just call it a night where I go to Mesa, man. And I don't know. Mesa be having some crazy-ass people, boy. These motherfuckers, boy, they be like... I, they be like just leaving the meth clinic or something. I don't even fucking know. They be some, it'd be some people, boy, some fucking people. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's like Mason needs his own fucking reality show called Surviving Mesa. <laughs> that fucking place. One time I was talking to this one dude and he was like, oh yeah, we was talking about, you know, girls in different parts of town or whatever. He was like, oh yeah, man, I don't fuck with them girls in Mesa, man. They'll steal your wallet. I fell out fucking laughing. <laughs> I was like, he was like, man, I'll go anywhere. I'll be out partying, kicking and all this. He said, man, I don't fuck with them girls in Mesa. They'll steal your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. That shit had me die. Every time I think about it, that shit's funny as a motherfucker. I'm like, why these, he act like these girls is fucking pickpockets in Mesa. I'm like dying laughing. I'm like, this dude is straight funny as shit. He was, he was had me dying laughing in the car. But no, nah, I might go over to Mesa real quick. Keep my wallet in my front pocket. No, nah, but I'm gonna go to Mesa and probably work over here for a while. But yeah, I would like to get over here, but I don't know, man. It, it's 12.20. It, it's time for me to get something moving. I can go down south. This is closer to where my house is, where the $15 is. That's where I go grocery shopping and stuff anyways over here. I can go over there, but I don't know. It looks like the big streak is in Mesa coming all the way down. So I could be in Mesa kind of ripping and running through all of that. So let me try that, and I'm going to see what I can do. Let me hit the highway, and I'll be out there. I'm going to listen to me some music for a while. This is why I always run it on Uber Pet and not on airplane mode. As I, soon as I left the Quick Trip parking lot, all that surge in Mesa disappeared. So I'm going to say that this Quick Trip right here is closer to campus anyways. So I'm going to say that this little Quick Trip over here by ASU campus and kind of kick back for a second, you know, let surge build back up before I get back to driving. Because, you know, on the base tiers, the tiers we own, it don't pay a lot. So I don't like being out here driving and shit on the base tier not making no fucking money. So I park my shit. I'm like, nope. You put Surge out there, I'll drive. Because people ain't obligated to tip us. And with me knowing that, still driving around on base... Nah, fuck that. Nope. I'm not driving around getting base money knowing I, I'm not getting tips and I'm not getting you know a good percentage of the fare, nothing like that. Nah, fuck all that. So I'm going to sit over here and chill for a second. Probably listen to some music and everything. We got $13 down by where I grocery shop down here. So that money is still there down by where I can hit the 10 and drop down, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to stay in, up in Tempe because where this dollar, dollar 50 is, all this stuff is going to start popping pretty soon. I mean, you got a lot of frat parties going on. You got, you know, people like club hopping, bar hopping and all that. It's going to pop pretty soon. I just got to kind of hang out for a while. All right, so I'm kicking back here in Tempe just about. I'm on Paw Patrol. Let's see what we got. Let's see if they got something. I'm in a 450 boost zone right now. So let's see what kind of crap rides they got out for me. I still haven't done Lux all night or Lyft all night. I just did like a, that 1580 was a real quick trip. I picked up somebody in Tempe. I was right by Cornish Pastry. Took them down to Mesa real quick for 15 bucks. 756 for that. Let's do that. That's a real quick trip right there. And that's right next to me. Whoops. That's real. That's real quick. So let me see where we at. Oh, yeah, we can just cruise right here and pick them up and then get them to where they got to get to. If they if they edit that damn trip, I guarantee I'm going to fucking kick that motherfucker out. 
because I'm not doing no edited trips. Not tonight. Nope. Straight whatever it is. If it's that, that's what I'm doing. Like I said, I got this 450 boost. Let me hear it. I'm putting on Uber Pet today. I'm trying to send me some crazy shit. Put it on Uber Pet real quick so I can actually focus on my motherfucking drive. Because I swear, when you leave it on UberX, man, they be sending so many damn garbage trips. And I'm, it's just like back to back. They're really trying to push these damn trips. And I mean, it's back to back trash. Back to back. back. I just put that shit on Uber Pet. Slows it down a little bit. That way I ain't got to worry about that shit. I don't even deal with it. Don't even deal with it. Let's see, where are we at? Right up here. All right. Let's see something. I don't know what side it's on. It looks like it's on the left. Let's see what we're going to be doing. Hold up for a second. Trip right there. Like I said, it was literally right around the corner. Not even a mile. Like I said, 756, I'll do that. The one before that was eight miles. That was right around the corner from him. So it was probably about nine miles for 1580. Not quite $2 a mile. If they tip me like three bucks, they can make it $2 a mile. But that one right, and I'm not planning on getting no tips from these motherfucking apps this weekend. They're just being stingy as shit. But I'm still inside this little boost zone, so I'm going to turn this on and see what's going on. It's 450. I can do a bunch of short trips if they give them to me. You'll probably try to give me some nature hikes to go like to fucking Gilbert and shit like that for right now. I'm not doing all that. I mean, they, they better be happy. See, what did I say? Gilbert. As soon as I said that shit, where are they going to send me to? Gilbert. Hell no. Because that's what they do. They try to send you on nature hikes. And the first thing they do is to be like, we'll send them to Gilbert. I know these apps way too fucking well. Trust me. I know them way too well. Because And, and there's a lot of times I'll be like, my first trip going to be like $7. Because I know where I'm at. As soon as I say that shit, first trip be like $7. <laughs> it's like, you're like, yeah, they're going to try to send me to Gilbert first trip. As soon as you, Gilbert. Because you start realizing how these apps operate after a while. You start feeling it. And you know what they're going to do to your car based on where you are in the city. If I know if I go a little bit farther north than this, they're going to send me up to Scottsdale. So I can't go farther. If I go up past like Curry Road and I go sit at that quick trip, they're going to start sending me all the Scottsdale rides. And I don't want to go up there, so I stay south of the highway and everything. Every once in a while, they'll try to send me to Scottsdale, especially from this little mill party district area. And this right here, what is that, $18 for 30 No, I'm not going way downtown Phoenix. Nope, not going downtown Phoenix right now for no $18. I'm cool. That's like 13 miles away. It's like, nope, nope. They can give me something close to the area. They can send me down a baseline or send me down to Southern, one of those streets. And they can pay me, you know, like, you know, 10 bucks. 10 bucks to send me down to Southern. Something like that. That's Farm 895 for that. Yeah, let's take that. That's like eight. It's like $2 a mile right here. So I can do this little trip right here. Like I said, once they start trying to do these trips where they're sending you $18 to go 13 miles, I don't want to do that. There's enough rides in the part of town I'm in right now to keep me busy. So I don't have to leave the part of town I'm in. They just got to make sure they get me these rides over here. And I'll just keep declining. Anything trying to send me to Gilbert, downtown Phoenix, Scottsdale, I kick all that shit out. There's people in this part of town and my car is in this part of town. That's the match right there. So send me them fucking rides, you know, high profit margins. Let's do that shit all fucking night. A quick trip right there. Like I said, and I love these little short hops. That's what I do, man. I do short hops right there. That one was 1.6 right there. The other one before that was like 0.8. That's all I'm trying to do right now because they got me that 450 bonus. So I'm using that 450 bonus to add to all these little short four or five dollar trips. That's how you got to do it. And let me go back. And right now I got it on Uber Pet right now because they trying to they was trying to send me another nature hike as I was driving. And I was like, nope. So let me go here. See if I can get another short hop somewhere. $16 to go downtown? Nah, I'm not going downtown. It's like, nope, not doing that. Not doing that. Because like I said, I can do two trips for like four miles total to make that. And they got me going all the way downtown to make 16 bucks. It's like, nah. There's a, the last two trips I did were $1.6 and $14 for Uber. Nope, not doing that. Look at that, 1.6 and 0.8. So that's about two miles, and I got damn near $16 out of two miles of driving. And they were both, like, right next to me. So why do I want to go all the way downtown for that? Back to Mason? No, nah, I'm not going all the way back to Mason. No. It was eight miles down the road. I'm not going back down there. I just left down there. It's like, I'm not going back. $37 for Gilbert? Definitely not going to Gilbert. That's, like, 27 miles to go way down there. Like, nope, nope. I can sit right where I'm at and just kind of pluck rise from here. Uh, $21 for about 20 miles. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Because I'm just looking for some short shit. That's it. I'm just looking for something short. Nothing long at all. 
and they keep trying to send me all these long ass rides. I got 20 minutes to do at least another two rides so I can get nine more bucks in about 20 minutes. $20 for 11 miles? Nah, cool on that shit. It's too far because I'm where I'm at right now. Let me go look at when my appointments are starting. $18 for like downtown. Nope, I'm not doing it. I thought about it. I'm not doing it. Okay, where are my rides at for downtown? That's at 5.15 in the morning. I got to go downtown. And it's only 2 o'clock right now. 11 bucks for that? Let's do that. $11 for like about three miles. I like that. That's the kind of shit I'm looking for. Like I said, I don't want to do no long ass nature hikes. I'm looking for all short shit. They was like $18 for this? Nope, not doing that. I know they like, damn it, he's got us again. Short hops, yep. That's the kind of trips I like. I don't like this long shit. No, no, no. All right, so they got me turning up here and coming up on the back end over there, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to go straight through and sit right up here. Because like I said, I'm not going all the way south just to go to the next block right there. No, I'm just going to pull up and he can like catch me right here. If he don't catch me right here, he's going to miss his ride. So that's how we're going to do this. Either catch me here or miss the ride. One of the two. Come on, car. What the hell are you doing in front of me? You got to go, man. You got to go. Oh, shit. This fucking dumbass car was putting on this fucking turn signal and missed it. Yeah, so I got to be right over there. But I'm right here and there's like a cop sitting right there. Hmm. We're going to figure this out real quick. I'm going to send him a message real quick. Oh, there's a car pull right there. Okay, I can pull right where that car is. Cool, cool, perfect, perfect. Just making sure I can pull right there. I see a car picking up people there, so that's where I'm going. Hey, hey, and it tipped me five dollars. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Now that was a good trip right there. Look at that, eleven eighty-eight. Oh, they didn't tip me five dollars. Somebody tipped me five dollars. Who tipped me five dollars? Maybe they did tip me five dollars. I'm gonna go back down the street. Oh, they did. Okay. And the good thing is, not only did, did they tip me five dollars, it was a guy with two girls, so they tipped me five bucks. But check this shit. Wait till you see this shit. So that was that trip right there, 2.6 miles. So they tipped me five bucks. They were laughing hysterically because we were I was I had them in here dying laughing. Because these girls, these guys were following them. And one guy was like, I'm in love with you, I'm in love, and gave her roses and shit like that. So they were cracking up laughing. So she ended up giving me the fucking roses. Check this shit out. She gave me the... She said, hey, you can have these roses if you want these roses. I was like, I'll give them to my dogs. I don't fucking know. They were laughing, cracking up. So she gave... She said, yeah, he bought these roses and was following me around for like 30 minutes. So I was like, all right, I'll take it. So she gave me the fucking roses. I was like, y'all are wild. Y'all are wild. That shit was funny as hell. But that's the crazy shit going on tonight here in Arizona. Wait a minute. Is my door open? I think the door's open. No, that was the window. Ooh, I thought the door was open. That was the window was down. I was like, damn, is the door open back there? The window was down. But, yeah, so I still got Paw Patrol on. Let me turn Paw Patrol off real quick because I got seven minutes to get another ride like that. Seven minutes. So that was cool. $16.88. $31 for that. No, I'm not doing that. $31 for like 17 miles? No. Because it was $16.88 and I only went like what? Probably three, four miles. That was it. So I'm a cool. I like that. Those are the kind of trips I look for. I don't look for nature hikes and shit like that. I can't do nothing with those. Trip radar. What do you got? Bunch of Uber Eats. For the people who say, yeah, you don't have to have Uber Eats connected. Yeah, let's take that one. I'll take that. $22 for that. They'd be like, yeah, you don't have to have Uber Eats connected. Trust me. What when, when they were like, yeah, you gotta have Uber Eats turned on to get Uber Eats. I never have Uber Eats on, and they constantly send me Uber Eats shit in my trip radar trying to get me to take it. But this is about seven miles for $21, about $3 a mile. I'm going to take this trip because I had to take it. I got seven minutes. That's it. So I'm going to take this trip, seven minutes. I'm out of the zone. Then I can take my break right after them. So after them, I'm going to take my break. Throw this old dusty ass rose in the fucking trunk. <laughs> fucking riding around with a rose like I'm a motherfucking matador and shit. Like I'm going to go bullfighting the motherfucker. Like what you got that rose for? I'm a matador, motherfucker. I'm going to fight a bull today. Watch out. And I pulled around a corner and I'm sitting here waiting and motherfucker, it's too busy out here for this shit tonight, so I gotta get going. It's too busy tonight for this shit. So yeah, cancel that trip. 
she can get another ride home. It's like I said, I don't play that shit. If, if you can't get to your ride, especially on a busy night like tonight, then this probably ain't the ride for you. So yeah, let's see what else we got coming down the pipe. See if we got an Uber X shared. Perfect, perfect. Is it if, if I can't find you, you just get canceled. You can get the next ride home. $18 for 17 miles. No, nah, we're not doing that. And that's a reservation on top of that. No, nah, we're cool on that shit. Nope, nope. Because they don't give they don't give fucking uh surges on some of these reservations like that. So I'm not gonna sit there and play that shit. $14 for about what? 13 miles? Nope, not doing that one either. So they gotta do something better than I'm gonna park right here real quick so I can scout rides. Let me park right here. See what else we got coming down the pike. Dollar seventy-five and um surge don't make a difference. I know what I'm looking for any fucking way, so I'm not leaving where I'm at. I can go up the street and go get that eight dollars, but I'm not leaving. Twenty-eight dollars for about twenty-one miles. Nah, cool on that shit. Cool on that. So we'll just sit here and chill. Like I said, hopefully these motherfuckers twenty-eight dollars for like nineteen miles almost. Nah, we're cool on that. They're gonna be trying to send a bunch of nature hikes to get everybody out of here right now, cause it's just now, you know, starting to be Saturday night. Two o'clock in the morning. I'm in the party district. They trying to do this shit. Thirteen for four miles. Was that about four? Nah, I don't want that one. I'm cool on that. I don't feel like going back that way. So let's see what they got as far as like something better than that. They give me something like twenty dollars to go south. I'll do that. Six dollars Ubrex share. Nah, we're not doing Ubrex share on Saturday night. No, that's not how we operate around here. It's like, you got to do something. If you can't afford an Uber on Saturday night, yeah, you shouldn't be out Saturday night. You should be probably in the house watching Netflix, eating some fucking popcorn on Saturday night. <laughs> it's like, Uber X share does not work Saturday nights. $13 to go south. I could do that. $13 to go south is, is good. Okay, Noah. All right, I see where we at. We can turn around and head up, pick him up there. All right, I like that. It's an easy little trip right there. I can turn around and pick him up. Let's go pick up Noah. It's much easier than the last little shit that they try to get me to do. All right, let's go right through here. We can cut around here, pick up Noah, head south. Get this $13, because like I said, I didn't want to go north, because you start going north, yeah, you're going to get stuck up there. I'm not trying to go up there and get stuck. So I'm going to go south down mill and probably be able to work my way back down this way. So we'll see in a sec. Where we at? All right, I got to go around this corner right here. Yeah, we'll see in a second if I can do that. All right, so that was my last trip right there. Thirteen fifty-eight wasn't too bad. Like I said, I'm just I'm just out here cruising right now. I don't even know how much I made for the night so far. But that was it. That was low. I got a what a five dollar tip on that one to make it thirteen. Yeah, that was thirteen fifty-eight for three point two miles, and I was right around the corner from when I picked them up. But of course, they were trying to send me rides, so I turned my shit to Uber Pet, and look what they got me right in the middle of like between two big surges, so I can't get no surge. That's what they be doing and shit. So we're out the street again. We got the four. We got six down here. So I don't know which way I want to go. We got 10 up by the highway. I want to take a look and see what time my uh, appointments are set. I think they're set. Or, well, 515 is that one. And that's downtown at 515. Then 635 right behind that. Then I'm done for the night. So I got another $40 coming in from what I'm doing right now. So I'll probably do okay for the night. I'm not turning my app on until I get by some surge. Because this little dollar seventy-five, I'm not dealing with that shit. Nope, nope, nope. I can cut down to Guadalupe and pick up six seventy-five. I can go back north, pick up four twenty-five. I'm going back north because I think those are my shorter rides up there. Guadalupe will try to give me a long ride. So let's go up here. See if I can cruise. I'm on Uber Pet right now. Cruise up here, pick up some money. Shit. Then I'll be ready. I'm gonna play some music for a minute. I'm sitting on 350 serves, so I'm going to move over to UberX and see exactly what's going on over here. So I turned the Uber pet off, UberX. Nah, $25 for like 18 miles? Nah, I don't think so. We're not doing those kind of trips. I'm not doing no nature hikes. 1253 for about 13 miles, UberX shared. Not on a Saturday night. Turn that share shit off. Turn that share shit off on Saturday night. Nobody's doing that. Like I said, I don't care what the surge is right now. The trip has to be good. $32 for like 20 something miles. Nah, we're cool on that shit. I said, those are all trips for people that's going in that area. I'm not going to that area. So I can make $18, $13 back to back and still be in the same damn area. $17 for about 17 miles. Nah, we're not going way down there. Doubt it. That's for somebody who lives down in that area. I don't live down there, so I'm not going down there. 
What else? What else we got short that's in my area? That's what I'm looking for. Something short that's in my area. Uh, damn, that was the same damn trip I kicked out a minute ago. Like five miles, for twelve eighty nine. Yeah, I'm not doing that one yet. It'll still be there in a while. Nobody's doing that right now. That's why it's still there. Nobody's doing that. So trip radar is probably like Uber Eats and shit like that. Because like I said, I don't even have Uber Eats on. If you look, see, I don't have deliveries on. Fifteen dollars. Nah, that's like 13, 14 miles with stops. Nope, good on that shit. Let's see. Uber Eats, there is that Uber Eats right there. It's $26 for something. $23 for about 23 miles. Nope. That was $26 for something. $12.61 for about four miles. Uh, let's take it. $12.61 for about four miles. Let's take it. $3 a mile, we'll go. All right, I think I'm in the same area I was at. Yeah, I can go up on Miller Picker up there. Cool, I see exactly where I'm going. Let's go pick up Kanisha real quick, get this one, pick up another trip, come right back. That's Uber ride. I'm gonna turn on Lyft real quick because right now I'm not in the Uber um, surge right now. So yeah, $21 for about 30 something miles on Lyft. Nah, doubt it. So as soon as you turn on Lyft, this is the kind of shit they start sending you. So I don't do Lyft. What else we got? cruise over real quick see what else we got on this funky crazy map right here 726 for about three miles with a four dollar bonus mm, nah let's not it's like with a four dollar bonus it should be at least like ten dollars at this point in time so if they can't do that no nah, no nah. 726 and i like i said this is still a party district 246 in the morning on saturday and they still trying to send two three dollar rides out like that was a four dollar bonus which means it was like two dollars and something cents or whatever almost three dollars like no nah, no nah, cool on that shit nope nope you gotta kick them rides out and let lift know you're not playing them games you're not that driver kick them out because i mean if they making all these extra profits and everything they you know they made 102 million dollars extra in profit you know what you could pay a little more money you could pay a little more money we ain't got to be driving out here for no dollar a mile at 246 on a saturday morning in the party district forget that let's jump over to uber real quick see what uber's got jumping because as soon as i turn on uber see i told you what's gonna happen as soon as you turn on uber that's what they do they try to give you a ride on lyft nope 18 dollars but nah definitely not definitely not 18 dollars for like 22 miles you know let's just turn lyft off like i said lyft's not been doing all i still have not done a ride with lyft all day today they just they haven't got their prices right so when their prices ain't right, I can't drive for them. They got to figure shit out. And I think every driver needs to do that. When you start seeing that Lyft ain't pricing these rides right, kick that shit out, go to a new app. I don't give a fuck if you out delivering hot dogs. Anything's better than doing fucking shit rides for Lyft. Don't do them rides for Lyft. It's like make them put shit back right to how it was. Because if everybody's a Lyft driver, I think that's the same damn ride I just had. I'm not doing that shit. No. No, not that. No. Nah. I'm probably done for the night anyways. Like I said, that ride was $12.61 for that one. Yeah, I'm probably done for the night because I think all the surge is drying up. There's nothing really out here right now. That last trip was that one. 325 surge. Yeah, and that was only 2.8 miles. And I was right down in the area, so it was about four miles probably. So that was a $3 mile trip. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think just everything's drying up right now. I mean, you got no surge downtown. You got that little bit down but just past baseline and it's like once you get down there they're going to pull it they're not going to give it to you because it's like too far south they just want to get drivers down there that's all that's not really real surge so then in the morning i've got you know the 1862 and it's 2007 so that's another 40 dollars. let me see how much have i made so far 147 okay 614 i'm not going up that way i'm going south okay 147 not bad I've been online for about four hours a day scouting and everything. Not too bad. Not too bad. Like I said, I've had Paw Patrol running pretty much all night. So it's not too, made about 150 bucks, you know, screwing around with these apps. And I only did it in how many trips? 12 trips. That's it. Only had to do 12 trips. Like I said, I can probably clear $200. What I got, that's 147 Now I got the other two rides coming up. Man, I'm not doing that. $22 for like 18 miles north? No. No, I got the two morning rides coming up. That's about $40. So it should be close to about $200 by the time I'm done with tonight. Should be close to 200 bucks. 
It's not a bad Saturday. It especially, it's dead as shit out here. So it's not really a bad Saturday. But it could be better. It could definitely be a lot better if they wasn't putting out shit trips. If I could have drove on Lyft for a little while, it would have been okay. But like I said, Lyft ain't putting out nothing worth taking, so I just kept them off. Any driver that don't have Uber and has to drive Lyft, you guys can drive Lyft. But for us that have other options, we got to exercise our other options. What is that? $20 to go to Gilbert? Fuck, hell no. Nope, not even going that far. So we got to exercise other options. If you got an option to drive Uber, you got an option to do like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart. Do that shit. No, I'm not going north either. Nope. $8 for like four miles? No. $10 to go south? Oh, do I want to do that? Nope, don't want to do that either. Because I was thinking about going down there because they got that money sitting down there. But it's like, by the time you get there, it'll be gone any fucking ways. So it's like, nah, I'm really not feeling that shit. Really not feeling it. They got to do something better. 861 for that. Mm, no, nah, that's $2 a mile. Less than $2 a mile. And I'm not trying to go like damn near no five miles back up north again anyways. 1016 for that with multiple stops. Nope. We don't do multiple stops on Saturday night. There's not enough money involved in that shit. Like I said, make these trips cost a little more. Make them pay the drivers a little more and we'll do some of this shit. But if you don't, this is not what we're doing. I mean, you got to understand there's no money going to change hands until the driver actually approves that trip. So these apps are not going to be making money as long as we keep declining the bullshit. And that's what we need to keep doing. When we know it's a bullshit trip, let them know it's a bullshit trip. Decline it. Don't take that shit and complain about it. If you're complaining about it, then you're the idiot. Cancel that shit and get it over with. And they can sit up here all day trying to... They can keep readjusting the price if they have to. Keep trying to fix that price. But these riders are not going to get rides home and shit with the current uh, fare that the drivers are being paid. These motherfuckers are not getting home. Because I'll go home and park this motherfucker. Nope, I'm not going backwards. Nope. That's about $8 to go five miles in the other direction. Cool on that shit. So I'm going south right now. $3.32? No, not a three, $3 ride at Saturday. No, I'm cool. You know what? I think I'm done for the night anyways. Let's turn this shit off. I'll get back online when it's time to get back online. Because I think they're, the rides are pretty much turning into shit right now. So I think that's my cue to go home, take a break. I got a five-something reservation and I got a six reservation. So I think I'm done driving for the night. I'll do my two reservations early in the morning and that's it. Because let me see what time is that. 515 so i gotta be about back online by 415 so i'm gonna go home take me a break real quick grab me something to eat kick back with the dogs and i'll get back online but it's an all right night it was an all right night hey, i'm done i did my last ride let's go through the day's numbers that was my last two trips right there so it was 147 plus about 56 so that's about what 203 or something like that 147 256 yeah about 200 and Hey, 156 yeah so about 204 about 204 dollars and i did that and it says an hour 49 but it was only like two quick trips you you have to be online at least an hour before you do the rides the rides are real short i'll show you in a second and that says four hours and 12 minutes but y'all know i scout didn't really drive for 12 but that's just what it is so now we go in here these are the two morning rides one took 12 minutes one took nine minutes so that's basically about, I'd say, let's say 30 minutes right there because 12 and it probably took me about five minutes to get there to make that 17. But I was right around the corner from that one because I'd already dropped off somebody at the airport there. So these two rides together, even though it says that I was online for an hour, like almost two hours, that's because they force you to be online about an hour before you drive. So you, I was online at four o'clock in the morning to get this 515 one. Otherwise, they would kick me out and they wouldn't let me have the reservation. That's how reservations work. They force you to sit online for about an hour to make sure you're ready for that reservation. But these are all my other short trips. Like I said, my last one was at 222. Was that real quick? 1261 for like 2.8 miles. You know, that one was 3.2 miles for 1358. I mean, it was all short hops, all short hops all night. Was getting a few tips here and there, like $5 tip. You know, 2.6 miles for $16. I mean, it was pretty decent. It was a decent night. Like I said, I probably drove total. I think I drove total less than four hours. It had to be like three and a half, four hours for about 200 bucks. I was probably running anywhere between $50, $60 an hour. It's not too bad. Not too bad. And that was my last trip there. Like I said, they tipped me 918. The one before that was 869. Airport trips always tip. 
because I think the third, the fact that a third party can see the transaction, it forces Uber not to do some screwy shit and steal the tip. So every time you do an airport ride, and especially if it's a reservation, you're going to see a tip. But if you do a regular ride, like on the street somewhere, you might not see the tip because they always hide that shit or keep it or don't give it to you. It's all kind of weird shit. But that was my Saturday. Man, I'm about to go in here and go to sleep. I am tired. I'll wake up and do some edits tomorrow. And I did all of that on a little more than a quarter tank of gas. It's right up under my quarter tank. I have to do it in the morning when I go back out there to show you.